right, so here he is, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. And here's a guy who a lot of these fellow lightweights believe represents the toughest matchup for them. Just hard to know what's coming. Truly a 5-2 player, and he will look to put all those skills to good use yet again here tonight. I mean, you point to the Josh Thompson fight, and the beautiful elbow that he landed to split him open, and it shows you the diversity of Tony Ferguson. And you have to remember, he was a national champion at Grand Valley State University. Right. So if he needs to, he can be a guy that has the ability to take you down and just brutalize you on the ground. Not only brutalize you, but he has a great ability to submit his opponents as he showed when he won the title fight, Kevin Lee. And he is most happy when he's in a fight, right? Certainly a guy who loves to train as is well documented. Just the way he attacked the knee injury rehabilitation just shows you his true colors. And I know I speak for the MMA fans around the world. Very happy to see El Kukui back in the octagon hall team. So here he is, one of the best lightweights in the world, Dustin Poirier, putting that status on the line yet again here tonight. Great frame for this lightweight division. It's amazing to think he had as much success at featherweight as he did. Long arms, good footwork, nice submissions as well. This is truly a 5-2 fight. Yes, he's one of the best fighters in the lightweight division, and it shows every time he steps foot in the octagon. And a victim's list. That includes Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway. You know when you're looking at Dustin Poirier, that he is one of the best fighters in the UFC lightweight division and has the frame to compete up. And he's shown that before he was a featherweight, so a guy that may compete over three weight classes over his UFC career. And we remind you, when he faced Max Holloway at the UFC 236 for the interim lightweight title, Holloway came in with a 13-fight winning streak that Poirier promptly ended that fateful night in Atlanta, Georgia. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Lightweight champion of the world, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Let's do it. Just remarkable to see where Ferguson has come since season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter. He put a lot of steam on that one as he's able to get that hook home, DC. He lands it perfect. I mean, he throws it perfect. Right hand is always where it needs to be. If he throws it with the right, the left hand's always where it needs to be. It's tight, it's crisp, and it lands with a lot of power. Bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. It's horrible. Oh, hook to the head by Ferguson. Well, he's fighting like he's double parked outside early on. Beautiful combination by the boxer here early. Well, you keep the kickboxer busy defending by not allowing him to lead the dance. So the aggressiveness is very important, but it's also good in terms of getting a lot of damage off in one singular burst. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's, it's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. 
Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Oh, nice strength. That'll work. Looks like that one landed beautiful by the tip. Nice block. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him. Jab, right hand, body shot, and kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Job by Dustin Fourier there, sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line, and the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Dustin Fourier. And now he's a tip and choke. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the shows in that defense. Fourier's in half guard now. All right, side control now. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Excellent ground and pound there by Poirier. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Poirier's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's not. Oh, slick reversal right there. Poirier's back in full guard. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Dars. That Dars is tight. Poirier's head is out. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I have a good grabbing match, but these fighters came to see not. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, Sean. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up. Nice jab to the dome by Poirier. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Ferguson's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him. To... I mean, technically, this would be a flying triangle if he could finish it here. A flying triangle. I mean, is that even a real technique? I mean, oh, he's going to try this way. Oh, he's out. Oh, oh, position now. We'll see who transitions first. Round two next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. All right, here we go. Round two, folks. Dustin Poirier and Tony Ferguson. Oh, man, but barely with that front kick. Oh, big power left hand from Dustin Poirier. At times, he looks like an ambidextrous fighter. Good pop in both of his hands. Let's see if he can follow up here. there if you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively you can do worse than watching a film it's a master class john it's a master class in mixing up the target mixing up the strikes and ending your combinations with the kick that'll work nicely left 
Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. All right, oh, and now pulling guard. No! Goes for the flying arm bar. He posted his foot on the hip, used his opponent's weight to push him up into a flying arm bar. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. That submission. Poirier's in half guard. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is held on wheels. And right now, he is showing why he is such a high level, high regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, nice. Three minutes. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Poirier's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Ferguson's eye is closing up. There it is. Now he's running up. Oh, another submission attack by him. Oh, that looks tight. Belly down all bar. Oh, he's out. Notice how his opponent circled back after his right. Back to towards the side that his opponent was on, got his hips all the way across to release the pressure off, off of his arm. Beautiful submission defense. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is fine in the top. I mean, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this fast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Poirier's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. One and a half minutes now to go in round two. El Cucu is back in full action. Ref will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Ferguson not having it, stays upright. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from his close. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in this second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Poirier's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, got a pull guard here. Flying triangle attack. I mean, he pulled him right down. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. 
right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Oh! Protect your neck, guillotine choke is locked in. Oh, countering, it looks like with a bomb flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but try to get out of the guillotine. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Now the hammer fist here by Poirier. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Side control now. All right, guys, come on. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented. Ferguson's going for the sub here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's gonna start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. Right back. Ferguson's back to the side control now. Oh, big shots from the top. Ferguson's right back to the full mount here. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Let's go. I need you to posture Poirier's in half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big grounded pump. Oh, man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Mm, nice. Final 30 seconds of this third round. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Setting up a sub here. Oh, that looks tight to me. It's locked in. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. 
All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Come on, hey. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of the only desire to win a fight. Poirier's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are... Whoa! Oh, he lands a massive kick here. I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off. You yeah. take your time. He's right for the picking. Poirier's <laughs> doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. And there it is again. Targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Oh, wow. You don't see that every day. Beautiful. Oh, boy. Damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athlete, Ferguson's trying for a submission here. Oh, looks like that submission's almost locked in. Starting to get pretty deep here. Got to be careful here. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What? Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, that killing is tight. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. How did that out again? He did it again. This guy's a magician. He just keeps on escaping. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pump. Ooh, heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Heel hook looks tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the this field. This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Poirier's... Oh! oh another knockdown! We might get a stoppage here. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fight. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. In the half guard. All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think the 
That is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fight. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Ferguson. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get... All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. I'm gonna stop this fight. You gotta protect yourself more. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth yeah. and final round. That's a strike there. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Rips. Oh! Fourier strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Oh, through the knee to the body. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Close guard. Poirier's tough as it gets, but that eye is downright nasty at this point in time. And you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbital. Not good for Lent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, nice. Big, big strikes continue to land. Oh man, he's still targeting that cut and it is getting worse by the minute. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Nicely done. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, right into Mount. Vision is compromised, there's no doubt. He's a lot of good movement. Let's look to drop those hammer fists now. Right back. Beautiful ground strikes landed. He's got to be careful here. Well, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Ferguson is able to flatten him out. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Poirier's eye is almost swollen shut. It's actually swollen shut at this point in time. They might potentially stop this fight if he has vision issues from here. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Ferguson's right back to the full mount. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame it quickly. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands. Pass. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission.
transition defense. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to... Oh! Ferguson, I have to say, absorbing those strikes quite well. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, how about that? Strong reversal on the ground. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, buddy, keep that ground position. Huh. Now he's going full mount. Oh, submission attempts and bunches to me. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. He's moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot Let's of these go. big shots. Poirier's in half court. Yeah, he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so he can get pressure. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission oh, defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, working his all out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-45, 48-46, and 48-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Dustin the Diamond. All right, so a nice performance wall to wall by Dustin Poirier. He gets it done by decision. Really didn't force the issue, but was dominant in all phases. Dominant in all phases. And, John, it's so fun to watch Dustin in a long fight because in that long fight, it's still always action. So congrats to Dustin Poirier on another massive victory.